Hello everyone, my name is Radon and welcome back to Radon Hobbies. In today's episode, we're going to be going over the lands and mana fixing for my cube. So last time we had to look at my commanders, and it has been a while since last time I uploaded the video. I've had a lot going. As you can hear from my voice, I am a little bit sick right now. But we're going to try to get through this and we'll see what I've got going on. So firstly, we have the only tap lands in my cube for the most part. Uh, you'll see later that I am phasing some others out. But I've got the temples. Um, I don't normally like tap lands at all, but this is for a limited format, and the scry is pretty valuable. So I have all ten here, starting with the allied, and then my enemy fetches, or enemy uh, <laughs> uh, temples. But uh, yeah, I'll, I've got those. <laughs> Getting now into lands that don't come into play tapped. I've got my have lands, or uh, as they were colloquially known in my area for a little bit there, the uh, buddy lands. Uh, which enter the battlefield untapped if you have a basic land that taps for the same color. So these are pretty good. Uh, in limited, they're almost always going to come in untapped. Even in uh, constructed, I, I usually don't have a problem. Uh, either fetches or b duels or something, usually I have some way to bring them in untapped. Coming up next, we have the shocks. Now, being able to shock yourself, especially in Commander, is really invaluable to get these in untapped. Uh, plus, having the dual lane typings means that you can fetch them or, or search them up in other ways. So, definitely all stars in here. If I had a full set of duels, I would be using them. And you'll notice that most of these are RTR or Gatecrash printings. I do have a few Ravnica Allegiance ones in here. But uh, for the most part, they're, they're the classic printing because that was when I first started playing Standard. So having sets of Gatecrash and RTR uh, uh, shocks was basically a necessity. So, moving on. I now have the most expensive one of these sets, and that is my Fetches. I've got a full set. Um, my allies are almost all Cons of Tarkir. Or, yeah, my allies are all Cons of Tarkir, and my enemies are all Modern Masters, uh, with the exception of my one Sub McKinnon uh, Misty Rainforest. I just I didn't play uh, back in uh, original Zendikar, so I just never got these. Uh, whereas I was playing during Cons of Tarkir. Like I said, I first started playing Standard actively. Back in uh, RTR, so Cons of Tark here came out almost right after. We had Theros and then Tark here. And then my last full cycle of lands isn't complete yet. I've got the three existing ally and the three existing enemy uh, pathways, and I'm phasing out my bounce lands for them. But unfortunately, until Kaldheim. I'm working the 6-4 ratio. Hopefully when a call time comes out, I'll be able to get all these. As you can see, I've got the uh, the full art lands, because I think these are absolutely gorgeous, even though a Bradley one, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, really excited about these. Uh, I do keep this entire cube in double sleeves, but they are clear back double sleeves, so you can flip them all over normally. So here are my pathways with my bounce land proxies. <coughs> Moving on, oh, oops, one of my hairs there. Moving on to my non-cycled lands and things like that. I've got a set of five kind of miscellaneous lands. I've got Cross and Verge, Fabled Passage, and Prismatic Vista to kind of round out my uh, fetch land package. And then I've also got Poliano and Crystal Vein. Poliano is useful because it's basically a tri land when you're in a cube. And Crystal Vein, just uh, being able to sacrifice it to add a double mana, sometimes makes for some splashy plays. So I've got those. And then I've got all five of the triomes. Uh, Ikoria is probably one of my favorite planes. And I loved some of the comic art stuff on there. You probably saw from my commander list, I also loved the Godzilla art. So I've got a full set of the Triomes. Um, the uh, enemy Triomes, depending on how you look at them. 
and uh, so I'm really excited to have those in here. Then I've got a full cycle. These are slightly, oops, these are slightly imbalanced since we don't have 10 obelisks, but we also don't have 10 banners. So banners are slightly better just because they've got the uh, sacrifice clause, but they are still triple colored uh, three mana mana rocks. So depending on what commander you wind up playing, uh, you can get any one of these. Both the ana uh, ally triples and the enemy triples are in here. <clears throat> Next up, I've got um, so my I've got key runes and clue stones. Um, you're probably thinking why specifically the Demir and is that clue stones? Um, I actually wanted to do all uh, key runes, but I didn't have those two key runes, so I proxied them with clue stones, and then I figured for Demir, being able to sacrifice them and draw a card is more valuable than the random creature they become. So I decided to keep those as is. If I come across the key, uh, yeah, the key runes, I'll change them out, but I don't care enough to actively hunt them down or buy them. So I've got the full set of 10 for those. And then lastly, I've got a full set of 10 signets. Again, all, both the uh, allied and the enemy pairs. I've got a mix of original Ravnica, Modern Masters, uh, Commander. These are from all over the place. I didn't play an original Ravnica, so these have just been ones that have been either accumulating or buying separately. So, unfortunately, they're not uniform, but here they are. So, that has been my lands and mana fixing for my cube. I keep these in a separate pack, and then I shuffle them all up together, and in addition to the commander packs at the beginning of the cube, I have fixing packs at the end of the cube. So, it winds up being a five-pack draft can be a little bit time consuming, but uh, so far in testing, most of my players have had fun just kind of trying the different uh, archetypes and decks. And it, it takes a long time, but it is commander that's kind of normal. And uh, having the fixing back at the end really has helped people to find what they're looking for. So real quick, I'm shuffling this up. And we're going to go ahead and uh, do a test 15 cards, and then we're going to see uh, how our packs look when they're uh, hopefully a little bit shuffled up. Hopefully that's enough. We'll go ahead and do a box cut here. And then one more shuffle. Now if I had more time, I would do a proper ABC shuffle, but I don't have time for that. So, Alright, so we have 15 cards, and let's see what we've got. Pack one, pick one. Right away, I'd want to take Prismatic Vista. I do these at the end, so we'd see what commander we had first. Um, but right away, these don't look too bad. Mm, yeah, I'd either I'd, I'd take one of the fetches probably, just because in cube they can get you whatever land you need. Specifically, Prismatic Vista feels really strong in this. But who knows, maybe, maybe I went just guy, so Rugger and Triumph might not be too bad. Uh, since I've got the full set of fetches in here, it's highly unlikely that one doesn't get passed. So taking the triple land might be a good way to ensure that I, uh, the triple land of the Prismatic Vista, to ensure that I get whatever I need. 
Uh, if I went to five color, I'd probably take the Vista. Anyways, so that's about what my cube looks like. If you are interested in seeing more videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am very sorry it took me so long to get this next video out. Uh, I returned to work, and then I had a lot of stuff happen in that time. But hopefully, you guys will enjoy the content, and uh, let me know if you do. Uh, this has been Ride On at Ride On Hobbies, and I'm wishing you a great day. So live strong and ride on.